you must have a water tank situated on the rooftop if the water level in these tank is decreased then in this condition our water pump must be turned on by itself and when water level in tank is full then this pump must be turned off if you want to turn on and off this motor according to water level in tank then you have to use this type of float switch now how this float switch is connected with motor let's understand so this motor i have if i want to turn on this motor then what i will do is from the output terminal of mcb i can connect the power supply and operate this directly if mcb remains on motor will also remain on if i turn off the mcb motor will also turns off but now i have to turn on motor manually and also turn off manually if you want that this motor is controlled automatically then connection of float switch can be done directly with motor but if you have a motor in which current rating is high then in this condition you cannot connect float switch directly with motor in this condition you have to use this type of contactor in this contactor here are the power terminals like here you can see these are power terminals with any of these two terminals of power terminal i am connecting the wires of motor now at the incoming terminals of this contactor we have to provide input power supply for this i am using a wire take this wire and with the phase terminal of mcb connect the wire directly now the power supply which will flow from this wire will be connected to power terminal of contactor for now with this l3 terminal here i am connecting this wire similarly take another wire and with the neutral terminal of mcb connect this wire take other end of wire and at the input of this terminal connect this wire so in the wiring we done till now we only performed wiring of providing power supply to this motor you can see here if i turn on this mcb right now this motor is not turning on motor will be turned on when this contactor is on if i turn this on you can see motor started running on releasing the contactor motor turns off if you want that this float switch you have through this switch your contactor will operate then what you have to do the cable of the float switch if you look at the end of the cable you will find total 3 wires by using these 3 wires we have to turn on this contactor how to connect these wires so that contactor turns on before discussing this what i will do is take these 3 wires and here at the terminal box connect the wires here for connection of float switch there are two ways first one is connect this float switch in overhead tank i mean in the overhead tank at the rooftop if you use this float switch then connection will be different in this case similarly you want to connect this float switch in underground tank in this case there is a different way to connect this first we will understand how we are going to connect this float switch in overhead tank friends in our overhead tank we have to always keep the water level high if water level in overhead tank is decreased then in this condition motor must be turned on and when water level is filled to the desired level motor must be turned off so in the overhead tank in our home when water level is decreased then to turn on this motor what we have to do in this float switch there are three wires among these three wires we have to identify which wire is common wire to identify the common wire use this lamp now in this lamp take one wire of lamp that is neutral wire and with the neutral wire of mcb connect this wire take the phase supply wire of this lamp and among these three wires connect the wire with any of these for now what i will do is with the brown wire connect this wire after this take one more wire and with the phase supply terminal of mcb connect this wire i am only showing you the testing process that how you will do the identification of wire if you want you can use a multimeter also for identification now what i will do is turn on this mcb after turning on the mcb take this wire and with these two wires here i will connect this wire with brown wire i connected the wire of lamp so with these two wires we have to do the connection so with yellow wire i am connecting this you can see here my lamp is glowing now what you have to do bend down your float switch when this is downwards lamp turned off when you move float switch upwards lamp turns on this means for now you can understand that the way in which i did the connection of lamp in the same way if i connect this contactor then in this condition what will happen is when my float switch is upwards float switch will remain upwards when water level in tank is full if water level is full then this lamp will glow 
and when water level in tank is decreased then lamp will turn off so the motor will do the reverse work here but for now we want that when the float switch is bent downwards then in this condition motor turns on and when float switch goes upwards this motor will turn off for this i have to change the wire let's connect with the blue wire now when i bend down this float switch motor is off and when goes upwards it is still off this means i did some wrong connection okay first do one thing connect this wire with the yellow wire yellow wire is for incoming power supply so let's connect this properly for providing phase supply to lamp i use this brown wire i need to open this after opening this connect this with blue wire and let's check again whether connection is proper or not when float switch is downwards you can see lamp is on when float switch upwards lamp is off when downwards lamp on when upwards lamp off it means when water level is low lamp turns on and when water level is full lamp goes off this means we have to use this connection only so to the yellow wire we have to provide incoming power supply and from blue wire output power supply will go to turn on the contactor let's disconnect the connections of lamp i need to connect only one wire with this blue wire so i am connecting this here take other end of this wire and to the a1 terminal of contactor connect this wire now to operate this contactor we also need to provide neutral power supply i am taking one wire and to this mcb at neutral terminal connect this wire with this terminal in this way from this wire power supply will go to a2 terminal of contactor here is the a2 terminal so let's connect this directly okay now neutral power supply is also connected now i am turning on this mcb after turning on mcb you can see right now motor is off now i will bend this float switch downwards you can see motor is turned on now i will move float switch upwards i mean it moves upwards as the water fills the tank when the float switch is completely up motor will be turned off and when float switch goes down motor will turn on you can clearly see the working here if the level of water in your overhead tank is low then motor will remain on and when water level is full motor will turn off okay this was for our overhead tank if you want to use this same float switch for underground tank then in this condition you have to make changes in only one wire what we did just now this wire here with this wire we are providing phase supply to contactor we connected this with this blue wire so the wire which we connected at this point we have to disconnect this wire so i am opening this wire after opening the wire connect this with brown wire so with this brown wire i am connecting this wire so we changed the connection here after this turn on the mcb after turning on mcb if i put this float switch downwards then motor won't be turned on motor is not turning on because we connected this float switch in underground tank and as you know that when water level goes low in underground tank i mean when tank goes empty then pump must not be turned on if the water tank is full i mean fully filled with water then in this condition motor must be turned on you can see when float switch cap upwards motor is turned on and when cap downwards motor turns off you can see motor on motor off motor on motor off so your concept is clear that how to perform connections of float switch with motor i hope you like this video if you like this video give like on my video if you are new to the channel subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video